Hi, this is Video On Demand Pick of the Week. I'm Mimi Spillane, sitting on my couch where I like to watch a video at home. I'm guessing you do too. This week, I've got a great one for you, 20 Feet From Stardom, about the background singers who made the songs that we've come to love over the decades the great songs that they were. It's a perfect movie to be talking about right now in the middle of Black History Month and this close to the Oscars. It is Oscar nominated as a documentary and it focuses mostly on the black singers who gave us the sounds that backed the Rolling Stones, David Bowie, even Buck Owens. As the movie points out, the key to being a successful background singer is to create the sound that the stars are looking for. Think about what the Stones' Give Me Shelter would be without Mary Clayton singing about rape and murder, or David Bowie's Young Americans without the background singer singing all night, or George Harrison's Wawa without the Wawa. The movie details how hard it is for these singers to break into solo careers, but actually most of them say they were content with what they were doing, that they didn't want all that goes with being a big solo star. It is a hard career. Darlene Love ended up cleaning houses for a while when things went bad. She's now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And there is great music in this movie. You're going to want to watch it at least twice just to hear the music again. Plus, director Morgan Neville and his producers had great access. The interviews include Bruce Springsteen, Mick Jagger, Sting, Stevie Wonder, and Sheryl Crow, who herself was a background singer. Of course, we hear from the great background singers that we know and love, and among them, of course, Darlene Love and Mary Clayton. Rock gave these singers the freedom to perform. In fact, the stars wanted them to step up and perform parts of these songs at concerts. Some of the footage of these people belting out bits of music on stage was something to behold. Work has been hard for them to find since the 90s, though. Sessions in studios are very expensive, and a lot of artists can now create whatever sound they want at home with a decent mic and a decent laptop. The movie makes you think. Could this background sound be on the way out? God, I hope not. If you've watched my reviews before, you know one of my favorite techniques is no narration, and this movie accomplishes that with the great singers and the great music. You don't need another voice in this movie. So, on my scale of four remotes, I'm giving it one, two, three, and four remotes. It is absolutely worth your time. Twice, at least. From my home, where I like to watch a video on demand, I'm Mimi Spillane. I'll see you next time.